This isn't about oil or sunlight. It's about something quieter. Something is always there but never noticed. Magnets. They don't make noise. They don't shine. But they spin the turbines, run your phone, and start your car. They're in the hard drive storing this video and the speaker playing it. Without them, modern life wouldn't work. Now imagine magnets 10 times stronger, built atom by atom, not dug from the earth. An invisible force is being reshaped. And if this new breed of super magnets is real, the machines of the past might not stay in the past. Let's find out. The force you forgot. You rarely see them, you never hear them. But magnets are everywhere. In your phone, your headphones, your fridge, in every electric car, every wind turbine, every MRI machine. They don't just help, they enable. Magnets turn motion into power. They drive motors, generate electricity, and store data. They're the reason you can swipe a card, watch a video, or talk on a call. Strip them from the world, and it all grinds to a halt. Civilization rests on a quiet foundation we barely understand. But here's the problem. Today's magnets have limits. The strongest ones rely on rare earth elements like neodymium. These materials are expensive, environmentally harsh to extract, and they break down over time. Heat, fatigue, and simple wear can weaken their magnetic force. And when magnets weaken, so do the machines. That's why the dream of endlessly spinning engines or frictionless energy loops has stayed a fantasy. The power source wasn't the problem. The material was. And for decades, we accepted that as the end of the road. Until now. Why current magnets fall short. Technology has always pushed magnets to their edge. But we've hit that edge. Today's most powerful magnets, rare earth neodymium types, have given us fast EV motors, wind turbine generators, and tiny yet strong speakers. But they've also given us a supply problem. These magnets depend on elements mined from a few countries, with high costs and a heavy environmental impact. Worse, they're not built to last. Heat and time degrade their strength. Magnetic domains inside start to shift, weakening the force. That's why high-performance motors lose efficiency over time. And this bottleneck doesn't just slow progress. It blocks possibility. Decades of fringe inventors have tried to build engines that run with little or no fuel. Some sketched motors are powered only by magnetic repulsion. Others built pulse systems meant to loop energy. A few even lit bulbs using just rotation and timing. But no matter how clever the circuit, how elegant the theory, they all ran into the same wall. Their magnets weren't good enough, not strong enough, not stable enough. Ideas didn't fail, materials did. And that's what's changing. Because if we can build a better magnet, everything those machines couldn't do suddenly becomes worth trying again. Inside the super magnet revolution. In a quiet lab at the University of Minnesota, a different kind of breakthrough was taking shape. It wasn't a new battery, engine, or reactor. It was just a magnet. But not one the world had ever seen before. This magnet didn't need rare earth elements. It wasn't carved from rock. It was built, engineered at the atomic level, using only iron and nitrogen. Abundant, stable, and surprisingly powerful. The company behind it? Nyron Magnetics. Their goal isn't to make the strongest magnet ever made. It's to make the strongest magnet that can actually be produced, scaled, and used in real-world machines. And they're getting close. Nyron's iron nitride magnets are different, not just in what they're made of, but how they behave. Their magnetic fields are dense. Their stability at high temperatures is unmatched. And in tests, they've shown strengths up to 10 times greater than conventional rare earth magnets. That changes everything. Because when you pack more magnetic power into less space, motors spin faster, generators become more efficient, losses drop, and suddenly designs that used to stall or fail can start to breathe. It's not about rewriting physics. It's about finally having the material strong enough to let physics stretch its legs. This is where forgotten dreams get a second chance. What if they were right all along? For decades, inventors claimed they had built machines that could run forever. Motors that used magnets to spin endlessly. Circuits that recycled their own power. Devices that seemed to challenge the laws of thermodynamics. 
Science called them frauds. The media called them crazy. And maybe some were, but not all of them. Joseph Newman, in the 1980s, built a giant motor that turned with eerie smoothness. He said it produced more energy than it used. He went to court. He showed it off live on television. He never backed down. But scientists dismissed him, not because he lacked evidence, but because he broke the rules. Howard Johnson, a decade earlier, built a motor powered entirely by magnets. No wires, no fuel, just magnetic fields carefully arranged to push and pull in sequence. It spun, slowly, weakly, but it spun. John Bedini built pulse motors, not to break the rules, but to bend them. He used spinning wheels and timing circuits to recharge batteries in ways that didn't quite make sense. They all failed to convince the world. But their failure wasn't always in the concept. It was in the hardware. They used the magnets they had, and those magnets weren't good enough. But what if you took their same designs, dusted off the blueprints, and gave them magnets ten times stronger, more stable, and precisely built for power? What once looked like fantasy might finally step into reality. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Machines that might work now. Start with the Newman motor. It used heavy coils and old magnets and yet still managed to turn with surprising efficiency. Critics said it was a trick of measurement, an illusion of input versus output. Maybe it was. But the one thing everyone agreed on? The magnets weren't nearly strong enough. Now picture that same motor rebuilt, lighter frame, tighter coils, super magnets from Nyron. Suddenly the torque increases, the resistance drops, and the system spins with far less input. The missing force is no longer missing. Howard Johnson's magnetic propulsion system suffered from the same weakness. Permanent magnets pushing and pulling, always chasing the next rotation, but never quite enough force to sustain motion. Too much drag, too little push. Super magnets change the equation. Bedini's pulse motor, built around bursts of timed energy, already showed strange results. With stronger magnets, each pulse hits harder, builds more momentum, and recovers more energy. These machines were never disproven with finality. They just faded, buried under doubt and underpowered materials. Now, the designs are still there, the circuits still make sense. The only thing missing was strength. And that's no longer missing. The wheel that keeps turning. Imagine a ring of magnets arranged perfectly to push each other around a circle. No wires, no power cord, no battery. Just motion created by the careful dance of repelling fields. That's the idea behind the Magna Coaster. It was built to spin on magnetic interaction alone. And it did, kind of, for a while. But every version faced the same problem. The magnets were too weak. The force wasn't enough. Eventually, friction won. The wheel slowed. The dream stalled. But now, the rules are shifting. With super magnets, everything changes. The push between poles is stronger, cleaner, and more sustained. Less wobble, more torque. Better balance, longer spin. A stronger magnet doesn't just spin the wheel faster. It helps overcome the drag that always stopped it. Enough to power a small light. Maybe a capacitor, maybe more. Even if it's not truly perpetual, even if it slows over time, it's still a step toward machines that do more with less. And if one magnet-powered wheel can stay spinning longer, cleaner, and more efficiently, maybe it's not just a toy anymore, maybe it's a start. Free energy, science or scam? The phrase still makes scientists wince. Free energy, it conjures images of internet scams, YouTube hoaxes, and impossible claims. And they're right to be skeptical. History is littered with fakes, frauds, and false hopes. Machines that promised the world and delivered nothing, but skepticism isn't the same as rejection, not when the tools have changed. Neuron's magnets don't cheat physics. They obey it, more efficiently, more intensely. That means less energy wasted, less power is lost to heat, drag, or decay. If a machine loops energy longer, spins cleaner, 
or gets more motion from the same input, that's not magic. That's better design and better materials. Free energy doesn't mean infinite. It means efficient beyond what we once thought possible. So test it, measure everything, stay honest. But don't dismiss it without looking because science moves forward by challenging what we think we know, especially when the numbers finally start working in our favor. This is your era. The inventors who came before had bold ideas, motors that ran on magnets, circuits that pulsed with near zero loss, machines that defied explanation. But they didn't have what you have now. Super magnets, engineered for strength, stability, and scale. That changes the game. Because now, you can go back to those blueprints, revisit those half-finished experiments, test them again, not with hope, but with hardware built for performance. You are the generation raised on climate deadlines and renewable dreams. You understand the stakes. You know the limitations of the grid, the fragility of supply chains, the cost of waiting. So build, test, question, fail forward. This moment isn't about proving the past right. It's about pushing the future forward. And the tools in your hands are stronger than ever. The next revolution in energy might not come from a billion dollar company. It might come from your garage. And it might start with a magnet. The future won't be handed to us. It's something we build. One question, one experiment, one breakthrough at a time. Super magnets may not solve everything overnight, but they give us a new starting point. The rest is up to you. Subscribe, stay curious, and keep spinning the impossible forward.